Hey, hey, what is going on, guys? This is Reaper of Fear, bringing you a Madden 25 demo video. And don't get used to these. Um, I don't think that putting Madden on YouTube is terribly exciting. But I just wanted to say my thoughts about the new Madden and how it seems so far. Um, how it does compared to the last game. Uh, every, sorts of everything. Uh, uh, sorts of things like that. So, uh... Uh, before we get into it, I'd just say leave a like, or, and remember to subscribe if you do like these videos, because I do put out videos pretty much every day, and I'm hoping to gain a pretty good user base, or um, uh, fan base that I can interact with, so anyway, uh, let's get into it. Um, uh, the Madden 25 demo I downloaded today, actually. Uh, this is from today, so I remember most of what happened here. Um, it was a 2 gig download, and for a demo, I think that's a little big, but uh, I'm just going to let it slide. I mean, the graphics in this game are pretty good. So, anyways, um, so I played as the San Francisco 49ers in this, of course, because 49ers are amazing. But anyways, um, so getting right into it, um, the controls were a little bit different, and it's a little more necessary to know play types in this game. Uh, because they did take out just the general calling um, when you hit X uh, it, it would be uh, like X would you could do like a deep pass a uh, short pass a run or a pl uh, play action so and, and that, they took all that out they made it, it changed it into plays uh, played different t t types of plays and everything like that so and I don't know why my capture card's a little jumpy here but hopefully it'll smooth out a little bit um, but anyways, the uh, play calling is a little different, so uh, hopefully people can get used to that. But otherwise, I, I found it the, the play calling to be pretty good. I mean, overall, it was about the same as last year. There's a little, some different things. Um, you have to hit, uh, to shift your players to different sides of the field, you have to hit L and then the direction of the type uh, where you want to go. So... Uh, to get all your players to run that way when a, like a run play starts, uh, it's it's a little it's different than it was last year. So, and there was the big jump right there. So, I, I don't know exactly what's going on here, but um, hopefully you guys can manage. This is really quick. Um, anyways, it was my, my overall experience. I say would be positive, but I, I really wished I, I I was one of the ones who. Anyway, started up the demo and just immediately started the game and not going to see what was actually new with the game, like all the different new types of running where you can keep the ball when you hand it off and you can throw it or run with a QB and stuff like that. And so I really wish I'd, I'd known that before I started this. So I, I feel like my experience would have been better. And the running is different in this one. When you hand it off, you have the, you have the ch choice to either hand it to your running back to run with your quarterback, or to um, when the receivers, when the de defensive lineman is on you, like getting near to you, you can uh, toss it off to your running back, which I think is is a really big step up from last year. Because last year, I mean, all it was was hand the ball off and pray that your guy wouldn't get smashed immediately. So, anyways, um, I, I found that was a little bit better. And another one thing I wish I had known earlier was the interception, how the interceptions work in this game now. The interceptions now work with, um, it is a lot more, it's not as scripted as it was before. So, I mean, you really do have to be on that character if you want the pick. And I think, overall, the pick, the amount of user picks will be able to go up to here, and that's just due to skill and how this system works. And I just and this is, I, I don't know what's up with this, this is really jumpy. But anyways, um, moving on. Uh, my thoughts on the new running system, I mean, my thoughts were very poor um, when I was actually running the ball, but after I figured out how it worked, I was like, yeah, I could work with this. Um, I do not like the new boost system and the, the new functions that the left and right triggers have. I think it is a little strange and it adds a lot of bulkiness to the game that wasn't necessary. Um, overall, I, I consider this game, I haven't seen the full game yet, of course, I do plan on purchasing it, but I consider it a step, a little bit of a step backwards from Madden 12. 
all I th thought, or Madden 13, all I thought they needed to do was redo the run system, and they pretty much would have had the perfect game. And I'm scoring touchdowns here, and you guys aren't seeing it, because this game is jumping all over the place. I have no idea what's going on right now. But, um, anyways, the passing system was interesting. It was... I feel like this whole game moves a lot slower, although you wouldn't notice it in this video because everything's so sped up. But, um, it, it, I mean, it was all, it felt a lot clunkier, and I didn't know that you had to, um, like the left and right triggers. I thought that was a little weird, and I didn't know exactly what to think of it. And so, it was, it wasn't anything that I. I, I didn't really enjoy the new the left and right triggers where you have to like where you're like kind of almost strafing with the defender and then you can do different things to get by them. And while I think that's intuitive, I think they could have done it with a smoother process because right now it really is a l I, I, I think it really is too bulky. And I'm looking forward to seeing how the full game will play because I think it could be a lot different. Um, because they are releasing a demo, so, I mean, they, they can change, they can update the game a lot in 10 days. So, uh, yeah, 10 days. Games come as, comes out the 27th of August, and right now it is the 17th. So they got 10 days to get any feedback and any promises of things. I mean, Madden is usually pretty good, especially since they do the weekly roster updates and everything like that. I mean, it was really funny to see that all of these, um, teams... I mean, uh, the Ravens were still playing with um, Dennis Pitta, even though he was uh, out of action since a few weeks ago. And I go down, but you guys can't see it, so ha. But anyways, um, I mean, there's the, some people that are out, like Michael Crabtree, who suffered a ACL tear. And he was out because, I mean, he was out in, like, May. So, of course, he's out in the game. But anyways, um... Any, what else? Defense, defense. I like the defense a lot better. Um, I thought the right stick, the no, not the right stick, the right trigger, and I throw a pick here, my only pick of the game. The right trigger, um, the, I, I think the overall thought of energy use, like, if you press this button and you get a lot better, like, you, you run a lot faster, you hit a lot harder, things like that. Um, I think it'll be a little hard to keep it all in your brain while you're trying to play this game because you have so many buttons to hit and so I think that could be a little confusing overall and so I hope they do something about that like kind of streamline it and here I got a user pick with awesome law because he's amazing but um anyways the defense I found was I, I love I had a uh, uh, right a defensive right end in um, Madden 13 and I mean, all, a lot of the sliders were turned up, so it was a lot easier. But I found that position to be really fun to play because I won the game on defense. And I think that will be a lot more possible to do in this game because the picks are a lot more user-oriented. And the um, uh, the defense is so much easier to play. I mean, if you want to be a rushing lineman, like if you want to play as J.J. Watt, then go right ahead because you can like smash right through that defensive line so quick. It'll be like nothing's there at all. And I, th I think what will happen in this game is that they've d done the um, the running, and that will affect the uh, passing a lot, too, because people won't be, like, I, I know I was, the most I was ever, ever able to throw in a season was, like, 14,000 yards, and that's because running was so difficult. I mean, I could not get the ball, like, more than, like, two, three yards of play, except for those rare plays where I'd get, like, a 20-yard run, or those super rare plays where I'd get, like, a... 70-yard uh, touchdown run. And, I mean, those were really hard to get. I mean, it was really ridiculous. You had to turn the sliders up in-game in to make it more realistic to what real life is. But anyways, um, I do like... I, I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I, I wasn't a giant fan of the new trigger system, but I do think it will make the games a lot more balanced. There will be a lot less just quick pass breakaway touchdowns because as a human player you can hit the right trigger and your cornerback will run a lot harder for a, I think it's something like five seconds I think you get like a five to ten second window to uh, 
throw to run a lot harder with. Um, but anyways, it was it, I, I don't know exactly what to say about this because I mean there are I, I found really good sides and really negative sides to the uh, trigger system. I, I just found that sometimes it just wasn't enjoyable and it was confusing. But I think, um, I mean, you go back and you play, uh, I mean, there's always change in Madden games. Like, if you, I went back and I played uh, Madden 12 uh, a couple weeks ago, and that game is so much different, and I can't even remember playing it. I mean, I loved Madden 13 setup so much better. I mean, all I heard, heard about Madden 13, though, was people bitching about franchise mode being gone. But it was owner's mode, you fools. It was, I mean, except for controlling multiple, multiple teams, it was owner's mode. Or, not owner's mode, but uh, coach mode. So play as a coach. You'll do fine. But, um... And they kept, uh, the kick system, they kept the same. And I like that. I like the kick system in Madden uh, 13. I thought it was a good system. I mean, don't get me wrong. I think an A button system would be easier. Just hit A and then hit A again when it was full power. But that's a little less exciting. And it leaves a little less of control. And uh, one thing that I haven't noticed yet... And was in my big problem in Madden 13 was the double A fault, and that was where it would be like a like there'd be a game lag and you'd hit A and then you hit it again and the game would the play would hike and you'd throw it straight at your uh, tight end or whoever was close to the line and it would usually get picked off and that was I, I didn't notice precisely but I feel like the game takes a lot more time to hike the ball actually. And so, and you know when it's gonna hike the ball. So I feel that it this will have fixed it, uh, fixed it, and I, and I do hope so because for all the online that I played, and that wasn't terribly a lot. I didn't play a ton of online, but the ones I did, I threw usually uh, one or two double A uh, passes in a game. And I mean, even if it wasn't for picks, it'd still be really frustrating because it could be like third and. 10 and I could be trying to get like I could see like a really good play opening up and I just toss it just like straight into the back of my tight end because it was I mean it was a double a it was lag and so I do hope that they fix that in this game and I, I think they have because hiking system is a lot more varied now especially with running so uh, I'm looking forward to playing the full game and seeing how that plays out uh, anyways um what else I got uh there's the passing system, the running system, um, the catching system in this game is a little different, I, I found. Um, you have to be, I mean, it's just like the uh, cornerback player. You do have to be really uh, aware of what, when the ball, where the ball is and when it's coming. Because you want to get ready to catch that thing at like really close into the uh, game. Or not game, into the pass. And, like, if the ball is bombed down the field, you got to be like, all right, all right, here comes the ball. Now I press Y, now my guy catches it. And I, I'm, one of my big things about the new trigger system is that as at, when the ball is caught, it is super, I mean, the, the freaking uh, defensive tackle caught my uh, tight end after a catch because he was, I mean, he just, like, stumbled and he ca caught the pass and I, and I steadied him with the right stick, which is now really cool. Uh, cause you can ready, uh, that's an, a really, another really cool feature because the hit stick in the last game really was ineffective. It messed up your guy a lot. And so when it messed up your guy, it was, um, really hard to, uh, I mean, you would hit the rip, uh, hit stick and then your guy would fall down if he wasn't close enough. And so usually, unless I was really close to like the guy or the quarterback, or whatever, I'd hit X because that was a standard tackle and it was really easy. And it was unless I was like way far away, then it was usually a guaranteed tackle or sack. So, anyways, um, the uh, the I think the what needs a little work is the yard for the catch because your guy just he's just dead. Like there are a huge amount of wide receivers in the NFL that catch a pass on the move and keep going. I mean, you see it all the time. I mean, some of them, they have to stop and, it, it, I mean, they have to take their time and they catch the pass and they're a little slow taking off again. But some of them, I mean, they, they, these guys are just, they just burn down the field and it's really amazing to watch. 
And I feel like that's a little that it's it's a feature that's gone in this game a little bit because of the new run system and how everything is set up. And the new I, I mean, I just keep coming back to this new trigger system because it seems like it's kind of taken over the game because if you want to run, you have to hold your your character runs a little slower when you um, hit, hit left trigger because they're kind of like gauging the defender and then you can get by them some way and I'm not sure if I like that or not because this game whenever you see this game it's mostly played at full speed and so for a guy to slow down and gauge reaction it doesn't make much sense it makes more sense to keep going full speed and then redoing what you think uh, um, calling the action like spin play uh, stiff arm and things like that, um, it would just make a lot more sense if it was at a faster pace. And that's just my opinion, but um, I think a, I think people will agree with me. I've I just found in the practice that my running back was running slower, and I mean, of course, I played the practice with uh, the pat the practice in this is with uh, the 49ers, so I was trying to run against Patrick Willis, and they kept giving me failing grades for not getting by him. It's like that doesn't make much sense. It's Patrick Willis; he's gonna kill anyone. But anyways, um, what else in this game? Um, the kick returning system is the same, but with the new running mechanics, it is a lot cooler because you can um, try to get around the guy, get through the guys. Um, you can set up a pretty good route, actually. Like, you can see where you're going to go through the jumbled mess of people. And so I think that was pretty intuitive. And... What I found a little difficult here was the lack of hustle in my defense, because I call, um, one of my favorite plays is to call man-to-man -man coverage, because that, whenever I make a coach, that's what his team runs, because I find it so much more effective than zone defense, but I think, it, I mean, it feels in this game that they degraded it a little bit, because man-to-man uh, -man defense wasn't nearly as effective as I thought it would be. So, I mean, my guys were just getting burned, and they were <laughs> falling behind, like, 10 yards, and it was kind of silly. So I, I, I think that the CPU needs a little work in this game, especially to compensate for player skill to CPU skill. And, uh, I mean, these are just some of my concerns about the game. Uh, the full game, of course, hasn't come out yet. It comes out in 10 days. Um, so I, I'm really looking forward to seeing how it will match up to my description now because I think they will change some things they'll release a couple patches or something like that excuse me but I'm not really worried about it because I think just like every other Madden it will be good there will be some aspects that need work just like last year just like the year before that and anyways I mean I remember playing Madden 12 and making a superstar and getting to 99 overall oops sorry it's not getting to 99 overall by the end of the first season. And that was a little ridiculous. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this breakdown of what I thought of the new Madden. And I hope you guys like this video and subscribe if you want to see more. Um, I will definitely do more Madden if it's by request, not by personal interest. Because I do like Madden, and, but I don't think it is too exciting to watch personally so it, it will be by request so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video and the video is right now got about a minute left and here you can see a i mean all i'm doing is i was talking to my friend while i was playing this and i was asking all these questions like my guy is running a little slow and he's like oh yeah hold the right trigger and so i hold the right trigger and i noticed this little bar on the bottom going down and i think for the new madden the practice mode really should be the first thing that you play because it was really bad and I just didn't know what to think about it. so I mean it definitely I, I think it'll be harder to get into than going into 13 was from going from plan 12 so I, I don't really know uh, how to wrap this up but leave a like rating if you liked it if you liked my breakdown and I hope to see you guys again soon and Peace out, and this is Rupert Fear, your friendly neighborhood host. Alright guys, we'll see you later.